Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and in this video a bit of a nautical theme um, as the title suggests. Um, if you're a follower of Warlord Games you will know that recently they've released um, a naval combat system um, called Black Seas which is essentially naval combat set in the age of black powder. So it's about 1770 to 1830 in, in conjunction with their, their black powder um, tabletop game. Now, I, I, I didn't really have any interest in getting into this. Um, it's not an area of gaming that particularly um, appeals to me. Um, I'm not a big I'm not, I'm not a big fan of naval combat. I used to play Man of War um, back in the early 90s from Games Workshop, but not really my thing. However, out of interest, um, I just started to have a look, and the models are, are really, really good. And the rigging has been especially challenging um for it, it's been a, a, a good topic of conversation uh, in the facebook group is the rigging so as, as i said we're, we're not planning on playing this um in the near future uh, we've got other games such as ball tax we've got time and um effort invested in that but it piqued my interest so rather than pick up the main game i got this the other week um the frigates and briggs flotilla um, which comes with uh, two frigates and four brigs and what I decided to do was just paint two of them paint a frigate and a brig just to see what my impressions were at my first attempt at painting and modeling at this scale now these ships are, are one seven hundredth I believe and um, so it's the first time I've, I've ever done anything like this so I've I spent the past couple of days or past couple of weeks on and off painting these and the results are on the screen now um like i said i've never really painted at this scale before i've never painted ships before um not like this anyway um but the the ships themselves are really good they're really detailed and uh, these are the plastic ones like i said they come in the in the flotilla box uh, very very few pieces to them uh, they go together really really nicely um no no problems with the actual construction and they're they're, they're really detailed for this scale uh you've got you know decks filled with cannons you've got lifeboats you've got the masts um yeah it, they no complaints they they painted up really well um and yeah it was an, it was an experience painting them what was an experience however <laughs> i don't know if this is a good or bad thing was the rigging now this is one of the main reasons that I wanted to try these out because I like me a challenge. Don't get me wrong, I don't. Uh, uh, when it comes to gaming or modeling or painting, I like a challenge. I like to immerse myself. Um, this was something completely different, though. Uh, I don't know if it's just my my hands or I'm just not cut out for the um, for the nautical world. But yeah, I've seen loads and loads of people do excellent jobs with the rigging. Um, there's some fantastic examples of this on the on the Black Seas Facebook page. Some people have got it down to an absolute T, and I I absolutely salute their ability. Unfortunately, I don't have that ability. Um, I think it was um, Dirty Harry that said, "Man has got to know his limitations." Well, I've certainly got to know my limitations, and those limitations are rigging. <laughs> um, a, a, yeah um it's i mean there's, there's some really good instructions on the warlord games um website i just think it's my my weakness um i don't think i'm very good at it <laughs> and if i was gaming with this full time um i don't think i'd do the rigging i think i'd just stick with the um with the masts and the sails uh the sails are put a, a cardboard punch out and they go you just billow them uh, these aren't built enough on mine i've made a, a mistake there as well i've also screwed up one of the the, um, the sails on the frigate but these were just test ships to see how how much i'd enjoy them um and painting yes rigging absolutely not at, at one point i was i was flailing around with a pair of pair of tweezers like basil faulty um I seem to have, have been given a, a th in, in the box you get a, a roll of black thread through the rigging. I think mine mine had been possessed or something uh, because it just did not want to do <laughs> or want to go where I wanted it to go. 
Um, it might have been the ghost of Davy Jones. Uh, nautical, nautical shape there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the ships really enjoyed the painting, the rigging. Ah, less so. Um, I think. I, like I said before, I don't think I'd rig them again. If, was, if we're going to start playing uh, Black Seas like full time next year, um, I'll invest in the box, but I'll do the ships quite basically. Um, I think painting and just getting the um, the sails and the the mast on, you could probably fly through the box in a day or two. Um, but the rigging, wow, no. Um, and the um, is it the ratlins or the rat lines? They come on pieces of acetate, um, which is simply glue to the sides of the ship. Um, they're quite easy to do. I don't have any problems with those. It's just the rigging. Um, I, yeah, I, I I know where I'm defeated, and this rigging has defeated me. I think after this, I'm going to go back to um, to paint and bolt action for the for the foreseeable future, back into my comfort zone, as it were. But I just thought I'd do a quick video about my um, my very short journey um, into into Black Seas. Like I said, I'm, I'm overall I'm not I'm not too downhearted with these. Um, I just I just didn't enjoy the rigging part whatsoever. I'll be completely honest about that. But the game itself, from the from the battle reports I watched, is absolutely brilliant. It looks fantastically good to play um and a lot of fun so i think we will be playing it in in, in the new year um will i be rigging the ships no i won't right <laughs> that's it for me um i hope you enjoyed the video uh, and as always thank you for watching and um, take care and i'll see you again in the next video bye bye for now